Here is another mileage update. 237,561.1 miles on the odometer. And now it is time for a quick recap. There are gonna be some things that I'm gonna say in this video that I never, or I shouldn't say never, that I rarely say in other videos. I think I could count on one hand out of all the videos I've posted, how many times I've said this. And I'll say it in just a few minutes. Let me go on and get to the point of this video. So you probably tuned in here because you saw the odometer reading. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time or clicking in for the first time, you will know that I've had a lot of transmission struggles with this 2015 Lincoln Navigator. Well, as you can see, I have put myself, I have put 200,000 miles on this vehicle. I bought it right around 37,000 miles was on this vehicle when I bought it. And, oh, and another a frequently asked question, what do you do for a living? I run a small friend and family operated, I might as well just say family operated because my friends are like family to me, but we run a very small tight knit limousine company here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we have, at least I can say this for myself and for my dad, you're looking at one guy who has never driven for Uber or Lyft. Never have I had to do that. And that is a testament to my clientele. I have amazing clientele. They have carried me through so much. The Uber and Lyft thing has never hurt our business, really, it hasn't. If anything, we've thrived because of it. And I'm kind of thankful to Rideshare. I'm not being facetious when I say this, if I was saying that word right. Uber and Lyft have opened everyone's eyes to the reality of driving for a living. Whether it be the passenger or the driver, everyone understands more now what it takes to survive in this business. And because of that, it has helped us to earn more, to get paid better for what we do, and to coexist. You know, there's room for everyone in this business. I wouldn't recommend anyone get into it, um, especially if you have other things that you wanna do and you're trying to look for balance in your life. I would not recommend uh, doing any type of driving for a living, especially driving people around. It's, it's, it's insane because you can't, you, you don't have, you don't belong to yourself anymore. You belong to your customers. So I'm not my own boss. I have hundreds, yes, well over a thousand bosses because when that person's in my back seat, they become my boss. I'm a chauffeur. That's what I do. And I'm not gonna even sugarcoat it or spin it any other way to make myself or anyone else feel better about it. It is what it is. You guys wanna know about this vehicle. I put instant shutter fix in it at 109,000 miles because the transmission was making a shuddering sound. I will do my best imitation of that sound. Um, it sounds like burr, burr, you know, when you accelerate, the whole vehicle vibrates, okay? It feels like when you are starting to run off the side of the, to the side of the highway and you run into those little, those grooves that are on the side of the road or ridges or whatever, and it really alerts you. That's what it sounds like when your transmission is beginning to shutter. I put instant shutter fix in it multiple times to try to straighten it out. It was not working for me. So ultimately what I decided to do was take it to an expert who changed the fluid in the filter. This happened at 187,000 miles. I'm at 237,000 miles now. You do the math, okay? Go figure it out for yourselves. This is not a game. I'm not sent here by Instant Shutter Fix or anyone else. I have nothing to gain by lying to any of you. I'm here because I'm trying to help people with my experiences through life. That's it. I have had a lot of experience. My 51 years on this planet, I've experienced it quite a bit. And I'm telling you right now, one of the biggest lessons for me was learning. And it was kind of a duh moment because all you have to do is change your transmission fluid and filter at least every 40,000 miles and you will get a lot of mileage out of your transmission. That's it. If you found anything useful out of this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe and like. That's it. That's the thing I was gonna tell you. Take care. This week I am hitting the six year mark of ownership with this vehicle. And not only am I hitting six years, but I am hitting 
or I've already hit 200,000 miles of driving. I'm gonna quickly tell you what I would go back and say to myself six years ago when I bought this vehicle.